really interested if people think we went overboard or if this is reasonable for provisioning for the Bahamas. I'm Lauren. I'm Rob, and our furry crew members, Callie and Zora. We left our home in Colorado to set sail on our 44-foot catamaran, Kelpie. Join the Kelpie crew and watch us go wherever the wind may blow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to see more videos every Sunday. Before we started the big provision, we spent some time visiting a friend in Orlando. We also had some fun going to Universal Studios in Adventureland. All right, so we just got to Universal Studios. We're gonna go ride some roller coasters. Are you excited, Lauren? Yes. All right, so it should be fun. You can kind of see it in the distance. The Hulk poster should be fun. We actually haven't ridden a coaster yet today because they keep shutting off because of the rain. Due to inclement weather, unfortunately, we were not able to ride the roller coaster. So, we are planning to be in the Bahamas for about six months and we're headed to Costco now. So, we planned out produce, dairy, snacks seasonings, baking goods, everything. Dog food, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant. We're headed there now, so we'll see how this turns out. Before we went to Costco, we made a spreadsheet listing every item or ingredient, and next to it, listing the quantity by monthly amount. Then we times that number by six to get the total number of item needed. Almost done. I'm going to second bag some of this stuff. It was smart to do it though because a lot of it had like holes in the bags because they were pretty thin bags that came from, from Costco. So yeah, I'm trying to save this chicken, make sure it lasts. Packing the sausages and sets of four. So that should be good for a meal. We definitely provision hopefully enough food, but not 100% sure. It's weird as I noticed on my old vacuum sealer that I had to keep my hand pushed down. I'm seeing the same issue in this one. My old one was also a food saver, so it might just be something that haven't worked out. But it's definitely making some good seals. It's almost like two of these vacuum sealed. I'm putting them within another bag. And that's just in case the bag rips, tears. Just one more layer of protection from freezer burn or anything else that could happen to it. So stuff to use in here. I have gallon bags so I could do more in one but I figure it's better to keep this kind of small. I wouldn't have to mess with too many of the bags every time. Too much and make it easier to kind of work around in the freezer. We're pretty close to capacity in here after our shopping spree so it's definitely going to take a while. So we'll add this stack of food is done. So steaks, if you uh, help us out one day on our boat, you know, I might, might be able to break one of those out for you. Slowly making a dent. We 
clearly like mac and cheese and yeah. cheese it. That's a lot. It's gonna be a lot of vacuum sealing. Still would like to know if this is like how normal people provision or if we overdid it. Second bagging all of the brownies because brownie mix because you don't want to go bad. Huh? You don't want critters to get We vacuum sealed every food item that we bought that came in a cardboard box. Not only will this increase the storage space on the boat for the food, but it will also help to keep the bugs out and keep the food fresher longer. Peanut butter, Nutella, olive oil, a huge bag of rice, chocolate chips, ketchup, mayonnaise, canned asparagus, a big bag of flour, a big bag of sugar, lots of mac and cheese, coffee, more pasta, lots of ramen, spicy ramen, tomato sauce, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, more canned goods like black beans, kidney beans, refried beans, spaghetti sauce. We got corn, box wine, huge container of vegetable oil. Not enough box wine. Yeah, I don't think we got enough. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. No, we want 24 boxes. No, we're going to the store again. Yeah, we still need to get paper towels, toilet paper. Most of our toiletries we bought on Amazon. Floss, mouthwash, body wash, toothpaste, vitamins, Tylenol, ibuprofen, allergy medication, razors, lots of M&Ms. Not enough M&Ms. You probably Not want, enough? Yeah, you probably want like one of those a month. Granola bar. Dried fruits. Craisins. These will be good. Lots of Cheez-Its. Pirate's booty. So if you think we provision too much, find Cereal. us in the Bahamas and come have dinner. Tuna fish. Don't forget like the 200 chicken breasts I packed. Applesauce. Got steak, chicken that we vacuum sealed and put in the freezer. I haven't tried it. I'm actually can, can excited salmon? to try that. Yeah, canned salmon. Beans. Honey. We got syrup. Parmesan cheese. Pumpkin puree. Four side. carts full at Costco. Cart full of grocery And we spent. No, the receipt's right there. $2,500 at Costco. How much did we spend at Costco? Your math is off. We spent $2,600 at Costco. $2,600 plus $500 at Publix. Yeah. So. $3,100. That's a lot. Yeah. This vacuum sealer sucks. I gotta keep putting my hands on it and hold it down to get it to actually vacuum. We took all of the mac and cheese out of the cardboard boxes and vacuum sealed it. Those are in the 
the fridge? These are in the freezer. There's no room in the freezer. There's room for those. So it's five o'clock and I'm going we are to the fridge. supposed to leave the marina now. But we plan to leave the marina at five o'clock and we still have a lot to do. So we got most of the food in containers and organized and put away. Look, get away from my trash bag. So we did find a spot for most of the stuff. Oh, you better get away from it. Zoro got through, what, two trash bags already? He ate ice cream last night. He got into a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And this morning I caught him eating, what, those Tyson chicken strips? He had a full one in his mouth and he devoured it. There wasn't a full one in there. There was just like a little. He ate good today. And he's looking for crumbs. Okay, we gotta put some of these thin bins away. The best thing I do once we're out there. The waves aren't gonna be bad right now. We gotta get the trash off though, and I really wanna clean the boat with fresh water, so we better get on that. It rained for like five minutes, then it stopped. No lightning, no thunder, so I think we're good. Well, at least it stopped raining. Rob's cleaning the boat because we are about to leave this marina, so we want the boat to be clean. We have a lot of bird crap on our boat. We're gonna have to get like a fake owl to scare all the birds away. So we're in Palm Beach, Florida. It's not very warm, so it can't be sunbathing or anything. Um, water's warmer than the air for sure. But there's so many people out fishing today. Unfortunately, we haven't had any luck. So still no fish for us. Lauren's out sunbathing. Or should I say, sun relaxing. Oh, is it not very warm? No, how south do we need to go to get some decent weather? Huh? How south do we need to go to get some decent weather? Guys, got a life jacket on, being safe. Sally, how are you doing? Me boating? It's not even bad right now, but there were so many boats out here. So yeah, our weather window closes here in like probably 12 hours. So we're gonna pull in for a couple days and Lauren found a marina, so we'll check that out. They have a limit of five days. I don't think the weather window is gonna open up by that. So we'll have to figure it out. We might just anchor out once that happens, but yeah. The boat's in way better shape. We fixed a lot of things, so we're definitely, in, you know, moving on. Um, got some parts. Got the alternator I need to install. Got well, two alternators, 24 volts. I'm install to charge the house banks. We still have some stink issue in the boat that we keep trying to figure out. It's been a nightmare getting our one head not to smell. So that's the next thing. Well, I guess a thing that's still on the list that I continue to try to work on. Girls are sleeping. Stay tuned for more videos as we continue to make our way further south. Thanks for watching.